Congratulations, you're Thank into you. the FA Cup final. These teams here, they're special, aren't they? Well, I think uh, today's special because it was not easy game. But of course, we have uh, we had faced one of the best teams in the world. So if you, of course, you win this kind of game, especially semi-final, of course, it's, it's a big, big, big win. And we are very pleased and we are very happy to, to, to qualify, qualify for the final. Especially the goalkeeper make the mistake, and but I think it was good. Uh, we pushed, him, we pushed him to make a mistake, and finally we we, we get reward. I think uh, yeah, that's Liverpool. It's our style to play. So I, uh, of course it was not easy for them. So I think that make the difference. Two goals for you again today. That's ten now against Manchester City. But for the first goal in particular, could you sense Zach Stefan's hesitance? Of course, I think, uh, yeah, very happy to score the two goals for the team. But I think uh, the performance of the team today was fantastic. And uh, I think uh, today every single player enjoyed really well the game because I think uh, we do the right thing in the right time. And I think uh, it pay off. And the quadruple is still on? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We have a lot of game to go. We will try to, to do our best. I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dream for, for, for sure. Uh, no, we'll go for it, we'll fight for it. We'll enjoy tonight, Sadio. Congratulations. Yeah, what a fabulous player he is. And um, he likes playing against Manchester City. <laughs> and as Steve said in commentary, 10 goals against the Manchester club. Um, great effort from him. Um, we'll see his goals um, shortly, but let's tell the story of the second half when it got, you know, kind of exciting towards the end. All caused, of course, by the first goal, which they really needed just after half-time to give them a, even a glimmer of hope. Yeah, they had to they had to score the, an early goal. They did that, but they, it was it was the way they sort of won the ball back. We didn't really see that in the uh, in the first half from Man City. It's obviously what Pep has said to them at half-time, and, and shown he wasn't happy, and rightly so. But they're on the front foot. They win the ball. That's a really clever ball uh, in behind for Jesus, and he does really well in, in setting up uh, Jack Grealish. It's a really clever finish, that is, with his left foot. It's well, superb the way he slices across it. We well, we talked about Grealish before, and he wanted to make an impact in the game. Season so far, he's not been up to scratch, but he gets in a really good position, and the technique, like Alan says there, Jesus does very well. But this is what we want to see from Greenwich. More goals and more assists, Danny. Yeah, especially, I think, in those central areas, you've got to be productive. We see Kevin De Bruyne play that role so often, scoring and making goals. But I think what was fascinating, and we'll see as we go on with Jesus, he kept getting himself in these channels yeah, yeah. and getting in some really dangerous areas, but doesn't quite have that clinicalness yeah, yeah. that you need from a top, top player to get in those, you know, Well, well let's, let's have a look at those yeah. two chances there, because if he'd have taken one of them, it would have really put the pressure on Liverpool. They've had to survive half an hour rather than five minutes. Exactly that. With, with Jesus, he always he's runs in behind. That's why he's in the team. He works so well, so hard. But if you just look at... You know, speak to Alan here or Danny with his technique. Do you think he just waited a bit too long? I think he's waiting to get brought down he rather is, than going so. across Van Dyke. Gary Allen and I were talking about it. He's yeah. got to go across, try and score, and if he gets brought on that, but this is the best it's one. A really, I think he should go around the keeper here. Yeah. Just drag it to the left. It's so easy. That, that, that is a very, very good save. I know he, he should score, there's no doubt he about that. You've got to man. give the goalkeeper. We spoke about the high line yep. in Liverpool, yeah. and the reason why they trust that high line is because if they get through it, they've got a top class goalkeeper to beat. The number of times we've spoken about that high, it's risky, and the, ch the chances that teams have created. Yes, they have done that, but they've had to face him, and he is a top. Do it because of him, and also because of VAR. They know that VAR will give the very, very tight decisions off uh, offside. But he's a he's a world class goalkeeper. He is. A number of saves that yeah. he makes, top saves like that, you keep Liverpool in the game. You games. think that's why probably Manchester City are looking to the likes of Haaland to to bring in. He make. I mean, he's prolific goal scorer. Is what I, they need. I think that the problem I mean, not is bad anyway. <laughs> when City when City lose, everyone yeah. says, "Oh, they yeah, need a striker." Yeah. I agree with 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 Alan in terms of 
throwing that in the mix for a plan B. Man City are so good because of the midfielders running into spaces, yeah. creating spaces for others. So everyone might says Manchester City need a, fight, a, a striker, but it seemed they went for Harry Kane last season yeah. and they're going to go for Haaland this season. So it seems the, the club and Pep think the same it's thing. It's just the difference. So, you know, you've got Alan here who will talk more about the strikers, but just for changing up a little bit. Sometimes you know what Man City are going to do with a striker. You can have a, a difference in there. And mm. talk about being clinical. If that's Harry Kane or Haaland going through, no disrespect. I, just, I think that's. I the just goal. think when you get when you get to this stage of the season and you're playing in such important matches, that those yeah. man, those little chances make all the difference. And the world class stri strikers take them. Um, and that's why he wanted Harry Kane, and that's why he wants yeah. Haaland, and we'll probably get him. We did have four or five minutes of, of real excitement at the end. <laughs> and it was gripping the uh, chances they had because of this Bernardo Silva. Um, tap in that um, after Morris came on and made a bit of a difference. He did, but Alan alluded to it earlier. We were baffled as to the lack of substitutions. And, and when Morris come on, we know what a wonderful player is and how many goals he scored this season and created. Do you think there's a degree of stubbornness in that? Or I'm struggling, Gary, to find the logic behind it because he's got a wonderful bench every time he puts the squad out. He is the one manager who's probably complained more than any other about the lack of substitutions, the five substitutions rule. Um, and he's, one, he's, used, he's used less than most in the Premier League and the, the quality he's got is there for all to see on the bench. So why, why not change it with 20 and 15, 20? You know, we've all... Well, sorry, Gary, you probably didn't have subs in your day. But when, when, <laughs> I, when, when I... When, when we I had fewer off, subs. <laughs> when I've come off the bench... You know, you can't do anything in seven, six, seven minutes. I mean, it's ridiculous, really. Yeah, it was tough. It, 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 in my day, we never used to play for 95, 96 minutes either, but like they do now, so mm -hmm. I don't think we did. We might have done. But it could, it could <laughs> but, have been different. But they had chances, it didn't they? They had chances, chances. edging your seats, Ag stopping Ag here. Agonising. And they just kept coming and coming. And this is Fernandinho. You just think, has it missed? Oh. Connected with it, but it takes a little what deflection. A block, it was a brilliant block. And this is Mahrez. Uh, this good, side, I know it's a difficult chance, but with his technique, expect him to win. maybe hit the time. This is, but this is the one. It's still not Sterling. easy. Still not easy. I remember he scored a goal a couple of seasons yeah. where he took it and he just top went... Top corner, yeah, last top minute. Corner. Yeah. I thought, was this going to be he it? He didn't quite get it out of his feet. I saw the Mahrez one, he could have looped it over. Exactly yeah. that. It wasn't meant to be. No, it wasn't. Uh, we can hear from Virgil van Dijk. He's with Kelly. Virgil, congratulations. You're into the FA Cup final, but was that a little bit nervier than you'd have liked at the end? Yeah, I think we made it very difficult for ourselves, I think, in the end. Uh, created a chance as well to finish the game off, in my opinion. The game obviously was sort of played already in the first half, 3 0 up. You can't give that away. And uh, obviously, when they uh, scored their first goal quite early in the, in, the, in, the, in the second half, that gives them a boost. Uh, but overall, you know, we are very happy to go to the final. Let's talk about that first half. It couldn't have gone much better from your point of view, could it? Yeah, obviously <laughs> we won. Three no, it's all about scoring goals in the end, of course, and uh, that's what we did. So, uh, yeah, perfect, perfect first half in that in that case. Uh, but we play against City, you know, that's the champions of England at the moment, and it was always going to be tough, no matter who they line up. And uh, you saw it as well today, I think. You know, there will be moments where, uh, where you have to suffer and uh, you saw it. And in that second half as well, the fact they got that early goal, how much spirit and determination did you have to show from then on in not to let them completely back into it? Yeah, you have to show uh, a lot of strength and uh, togetherness because it's, it's tough. You know, it was, was, was warm, it was uh, intense, uh, like, like the previous game we played against each other. Uh, but I think, if I'm thinking back now, we should have killed the game off in my opinion. A word on Ibrahim Akonate as well, because three goals now for him just in April alone. How impressive has he been? Very. You know, he's uh, made a great impact. He's working hard every day. Um, good mentality, work rate, you know, f f incredible. And obviously, um, he has to perform where he's obviously caught, caught upon, and uh, I think he's doing doing just that. And uh, obviously, he's still so young, and it's incredible how, uh, how good he already is. So, uh, obviously, everyone in Liverpool should appreciate what we got. And uh, yeah, future is bright. And for, finally, very quickly, what can this do for the confidence of this team to beat City at Wembley here today for the rest of the season? I don't know. You know, it's, we go to the final now. We haven't won anything at the moment. Obviously, it's a big step for us uh, as a group. I think it's the only trophy that we didn't win. So uh, we'll give a go. 
and uh, whether it is Chelsea or Crystal Palace, we'll see tomorrow, of course. It's going to be tough regardless, and uh, well, we have to be ready for it. Then, now it's time to recover and uh, be ready for a uh, for big game on Tuesday. <laughs> they keep coming. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, there's uh, Wembley Stadium. It's a beautiful day in London and a great day if you're a Liverpool fan as well. Um, this is what they've got left um, for, for history, uh, for something that would live in the memory forever. I'll tell you what they've got. The great advantage of being in so many competitions is that every player doesn't want to miss any of the big games coming up. So every time they go on the pitch, they've got an opportunity to show Klopp that they should yeah. be playing in the semi-final or the final or whatever it is. Yeah. Chance. OK. I think we can hear from Jurgen Klopp, I'm hearing, so let's hope that's true. Here he is with Kelly. Congratulations, your first FA Cup semi-final, and now you're going to take your team to the FA Cup final. It may have been nervy at the end, but how proud are you of that performance overall? Oh, absolutely proud. It's an incredible... I think the first half was one of the best we ever played. Um, we did all the right stuff, we scored the right moments. We, we played an incredible game in the first half, I have to say. I really loved each second of it. Um, and yeah, second half started with a goal from Man City, and then it opens up. The quality of City is in, is, is insane, and you, you could see that then it was up to more, much more open game. Obviously, we had our situations. You see now, so now it's um, on a few pictures, and when Mika Richards is talking, and it's always Man City situations in the end. It's clear, but we had our counter attacks which we didn't use. Um, they, we can we can close the game there, but of course, it, it, the, I mean, respect the, the quality of City so much, and it's so difficult. To, to win against them, but because it's these boys in my dressing room, we have a chance, and um, that's enough for me to give it a try. How big a statement is this win against Manchester City? That's not a statement, really. We are in the final, um, but I think City knew before that it will be difficult. Uh, it could be difficult against us. Um, that's how it most of the time was. There was one game with a, with a strange scoreline, five 0 or so, when we had a red, early red card, all the, the more or less the other game, or when we were already champion. But when both teams were concentration-wise on, 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 on top of the game, it was always close. Um, should be fine, um, but we don't use it as a statement. We just we just wanted to go to the final, and um, that's what happened. Potentially 11 games still to go of this season. The quadruple is still on. This is exactly where you wanted to be, isn't it? Ah, look, the, the quadruple talks, I, ca I can't believe that. So with this game now, we have, we have another game. It means we get Aston Villa, someone in the midweek, probably. Or, oh, I don't know. Whichever game it will be, they have to move one game again. So I'm not sure if we have a full week um, before, the last um, before the last match day. So it's all difficult, but who cares tonight? We came here, we wanted to go to the final, we knew about the problems, but the quadruple is, is it, it, qualifying for this kind of final makes it even more difficult. It's the only way to do it, but it makes it more difficult as well, so it's a strange situation. But all good, we are over the moon. We, 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 we beat the strongest football team, in the best football team in the world, um, and that's a pretty special moment. Congratulations, Jürgen. Thank Try and you enjoy it. Thank you very much. I do. Absolutely extraordinary game. I, the thing is, with, with City, last week at the 2-2, they started fast. It was on the front foot. It's almost like they, they thought they could come on and turn turn up today, play the fancy football and get... And Liverpool have just been on it right from the, the mm. first minute. And City have not known how to deal with that. Yeah. It surprised you, the one-sided nature of the game, Alan? It's been a phenomenal performance from, uh, from Liverpool. We said about before the game how they might be that little bit fresher from the changes that, um, that Jürgen had made in midweek and, and again today, and that has been the case. I mean, they've just been... from Right from the first whistle, they went after Manchester City. They closed them down, they won the, every first tackle, they've, they've picked up every second ball. Uh, yes, they've had a hand from, the, uh, from Zach Steffen, the goalkeeper, but... That aside, they have dominated from start to finish in that half. Incredible. Yeah, um, devastating display from Liverpool. I mean, you were confident before the game. You said that you fancied Liverpool strongly. You've got a little smug look on your face now. Well, I'm surprised. <laughs> of course, you don't expect three 0 but they, it shows that they've prepared well. I do. I do think um, that having the big hitters of a rest midweek has helped. Mane has been at it. Mm. Um, really, really tenacious from the front, which helps. Um, obviously, City have made mistakes, like Al said, but you have to give credit to Liverpool players for, for really starting the game with that intensity and desire to win. And, and, and now, really, if they stay concentrated and focused, they shouldn't be letting City... I mean, I know City have got talent on the bench, but 
3 0 with a team like Liverpool, it, it should be done. Should no, be game seven, mate. It should be, but we know in football you never know. Um, what we do know is Liverpool are very good at corners this season, mm -hmm. Alan. I think that's 19 goals in all competitions they've scored uh, from the from corners, which is a quite staggering number. And they did it again. Got such a presence and guys who want to go and attack that ball, uh, and that's exactly what Canardi does. And whoever gets in his way, they, they're just being bowled over. They get that scored in his last three games. He gets up above Ake there. I think the goalkeeper should do better. There's no way that beats Edison. But J Jesus, no way. Jesus has got to be stronger there. Just because you're in a, in a zonal, it doesn't mean you stand in one position. He's got to be stronger. He's got the run there on, on Ake. It was always going to be one winner to the ball. But if you're in that position, you've got to stop him from getting that momentum. And that didn't happen. Yeah, but his desire to get in there is incredible. The way he's pushing yeah. everyone out of the way. No one's going to stop him. Mm. He's got the run, he's got the ability, the leap, and then to put it in the back of the net. Mm. But I still say the goalkeeper should do better. Full well, um, of confidence as well. So he scored two in his last two, well, the two games against Benfica. So yeah. when you've you've got to be aware of it. Yeah. Sure. Um, you said you thought the goalkeeper should have done better with the first goal. As for the second, well, it was just a disastrous moment a, for br him. Brilliant from, from Mane, first of all, the way he's prepared to work and close down. That's what Liverpool do he's on the uh, he's on the front foot just just watch him go he sort of invites the goalkeeper I mean the first touch has killed the goalkeeper you've got to be prepared to, to play that you can you can see the way John Stones when he passes it back to him is pointing watch him he's pointing there you go get it out here get it out to the uh, to the left hand side fantastic from Marnie but his first touch oh. He get, he's, he's all over the place yeah. with that first touch well the pro the problem there is I, I know he's been told to play out but sometimes you have to make decisions for yourself. You can see Mane's right in front of him, just <clears> kick <throat> the ball out for play. He'd rather give away a throw-in than a goal for the team. The only thing with that, Mike, is if you, when you see that again, the, the pace that Stones has played it back, he's had to play it fast because he saw Mane. Yeah. This was the semi-final last year. We talked about it just before the game about Stefan playing. He made it, you know, he's, he's a, bit, a bit out of position. He's nothing like the error of, of, of this one, obviously. One thing you want from a goalkeeper is just that stability. You want that organisation at the back. His position there was, shall I stay, and shall then, I start? And this was last week, of but this, and, 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 it, and I don't want to, you know, compare him to Edison, but this is the difference in playing Edison well, and playing... The difference is also, also of course, if, 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 Mar if Marnay had a, or a, a lunge, didn't he? If Jotter had a lunge like Marnay, he may, may have got it as well. He desire, yeah, but, you, but he didn't. You're on, about, you're on about stability. It's very, very difficult to get yeah. that when the goalkeeper, Stefan, has only played three times yeah. since Christmas. It's very, very difficult to get that. You're changing the, the personnel in the back four. You're changing the goalkeeper who hardly ever plays. Mm. It's difficult to get up to speed to work on so, your So, so if, you get, get, if you don't get, get up everything. to speed, just get rid of well, the ball. But you can't, you can't but going back Pep, to the point, you can't get rid of that ball one touch because it's been played too firm. Pep's gambles but, backfired. Yeah, I There's agree no doubt about it. I, mean, I agree with that. Liverpool and Klopp could have played Kelleher, of course, and who's, who's done very well, and he's been an FA Cup goalkeeper and, and Carabao Cup goalkeeper. Um, Pep's stuck by it. Has he made a mistake? Well, absolutely. Yeah, of course yeah. he's made a mistake. You have to. It's backfired. Yeah. And when, uh, when you put a goalkeeper in, when you're changing the back four, then perhaps there's, there's an understanding that you're not going to be you're not going to be at it because you, game time is key, and he hasn't played games. So to put him into a situation as as important as this mm. and the occasion that it is, absolutely, it's not the only one though. You can't just play in a key because there's been enough of those city players. No, who haven't been. Have, have you races. ever seen a, a, a poorer 45 minutes from Manchester? City? Never. That's I, the I, worst I can't remember. Play all they just haven't been at it. You normally you see them pace and yeah. aggression yeah. And, and closing uh, teams down. They haven't done any of that. Last time they considered three goals in the first half was four years ago against um, Liverpool. Funnily enough, wow. um, I will remember. Champions League in April. Remember that. Um, Mane's um, second goal. Liverpool's uh, third. Um, he's had a cracking half, hasn't he, Mane? I, I think him. I mean, him and every Diaz. single player have yeah. been, has been at it for Liverpool. But Mane and Diaz, I think, have been absolutely superb. Clever finish, and I, I, I hate to say it again, but I do think the goalkeeper <laughs> should, should do better with that one also. But again, look at the position of Trent, though. In these, we've talked about how high yeah. up he's making a different, lovely little dink ball by Thiago, and the technique to keep that down. Yeah, but can he defend? <laughs> <laughs> he's faced a little I bit guess. of Marnie's faced a little bit of criticism recently playing down the middle. But, you know, talk about yeah. not being as effective. Yeah. What he does do is he, wherever he plays, you get the same tenacity and work ethic. Yeah. But down the centre of the pitch, I think he's got that ability to stretch yeah. and put the put fear into the defenders. That's why he yeah. keeps playing him there. But it's paid dividends yeah. today. We, we picked out um, Luis Diaz yes. didn't we, before the game um, started. I mean, goodness me, what a footballer he looks to be, Danny. 
It's, it's just so effortless for him, isn't it? He plays free, free from fear. Um, he doesn't mark, he's, he's physically capable, he's quick. He, both ways, he's more than willing to work, running behind with the ball when they've got the ball. And look at this helping Robertson out after Sterling's gone past him. It's exactly what Klopp wants from his wide men. Um, but to walk into a, a football club like Liverpool yeah. and, 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 and just be able to have the self-belief Mid-season, well. mid-season, yeah. To play with the type of players he's playing with, some of the best players in Europe already established, he's not been intimidated oh. at all. We were talking earlier, weren't we, about Grealish maybe <coughs> walking into Manchester City and yeah. feeling a little bit. Yeah. Certainly not this fella. He's tough. He's brave. They're they're Rapid. putting some crunching tackles on him yeah. like that, and he just gets up and says, "You know what? No problem. Give yeah. me, keep on giving the ball. He's yeah. been superb." Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah!